Electric vehicles are the new trend in the automotive industry. With the reduction in the consumption of fossil fuels, electricity becomes an attractive option, which also fits well with the concept of environmental care and sustainable development. According to recent research, the use of electric vehicles will reduce carbon dioxide emissions by 47% by 2030. Companies have recognized this trend and are now trying to create the most efficient version of an electric vehicle. The biggest challenge lies in creating batteries for charging. Many of them are either very expensive or unable to hold a charge for long. Further interest lies in improving the performance of lithium-ion batteries. Many governments support the development of non-fuel products. So-called OEM manufacturers are constantly working on new types of electric motors. Tesla, a company belonging to the new generation of electric vehicle manufacturers, is the first successful automotive startup in the last 90 years. The main idea of the company is to increase production efficiency through automation using robots, but this is not always possible. Some tasks require human intelligence, so even in a high-tech production environment, humans are indispensable. In its first full year of operation, the Tesla Motors factory produced over 20,000 electric vehicles. Recently, the company has begun mass production of models such as the Tesla Roadster and Tesla Model S. Current models are characterized by low noise levels and zero carbon dioxide emissions into the atmosphere, and cost approximately $35,000. Tesla's manufacturing plants rival only the aerospace industry in terms of their technological sophistication. Robots perform the majority of the work, with humans only intervening to make adjustments and correct errors. The company's factories are located in the United States, Shanghai, and Germany. At the Chinese factory, Tesla produces finished vehicles for the local market. Lithium-ion batteries are manufactured at the American Giga factories. Meanwhile, the German plant, located in the suburbs of Berlin, has started producing 5,000 electric vehicles per week. Tesla Giga factory in Berlin achieved its goal of producing 5,000 electric vehicles per week. Production at the factory began at the end of 2021, and the company aimed to reach this milestone by the end of 2022, but supply chain issues hampered progress. Consequently, Tesla ended the year with a production volume of around 3,000 Model Y vehicles per week. By the end of February, Tesla Gigafactory reached a new milestone of 4,000 units per week. With current metrics, the Berlin factory could produce over 250,000 vehicles per year. Recently, the company applied to authorities for an expansion of production at Gigafactory in Berlin to 1 million vehicles per year. This will require further development of the factory's territory, and Tesla needs approval from environmental authorities. It is expected that Tesla's future production lines will incorporate an updated manufacturing process. On March 2nd, the company announced the production of its 4 millionth electric vehicle at its factory in Texas. Tesla can produce around 2 million electric vehicles per year, including Tesla semi-trucks, but aims to increase production to 20 million vehicles. Let's take a closer look at how Tesla electric vehicles are assembled, using the Model S as an example. In this video, we focus on the factory located in Fremont, California. It is the place where Model S is assembled. This factory was built in 2010. The company bought one of the abandoned factories from General Motors, and work immediately began. In less than a year, the most technologically advanced production in the world was established here. Today, Fremont is where crossover Model X and Model Y, as well as sedans Model 3 and Model S are made. The Fremont factory features more than 10,000 employees, 160 robots, 10 of the largest robots in the world, it's noteworthy that each of the 10 machines has a name. They are named after characters from the X-Men film series. The Tesla assembly robots are manufactured in Germany. Additionally, hydraulic presses with a force of 10 kilotons are used here, among the largest in the world. Demand for these vehicles remains consistently high, largely due to Musk's savvy marketing and automation allows meeting this demand. For instance, the Fremont factory produces up to 7,000 units of Model 3 weekly. In 2020, the company produced around 509,000 electric vehicles, fulfilling its long-standing promise of producing 500,000 vehicles per year. Nine out of 10 vehicles are new Model 3 and Model Y. According to the company's annual report, the share of Model S was less than 10%. You may have come across videos online where the assembly of an electric car in time-lapse takes just 48 seconds. However, this is more of a marketing ploy. The videos don't show welding, body painting, priming, or other integral processes of factory car production. In reality, the assembly of one Model S unit takes from three to five days. The Tesla Model S assembly process resembles scenes from a futuristic movie. It's impossible not to notice the autonomous robots traveling along magnetic tracks laid on the floor of the workshop, or how a robot installs the driver's seat through the passenger door. In total, around 160 robots are involved in production. Many intricacies of production at the Fremont factory are kept secret by the company. However, some information is available to the general public. 
For example, we know that the creation of the Model S has several notable features. Battery packs, modules, and drives are produced by Tesla itself. The majority of parts are manufactured in the USA or Canada, with some sourced from Japan. Design engineers work directly at the factory rather than at separate facilities, as is typical in car manufacturing. Car delivery is carried out by rail, as the company considers this method the most cost-effective and safe. Recently, Elon Musk shared the company's development plans, as Tesla is setting a course for sustainable energy and aiming to produce 20 million electric vehicles per year. The first two parts of the plan were presented in 2006 and 2016, respectively. They served as a roadmap for Tesla's development over the course of 17 years, transforming it from a fledgling startup into a leading global electric vehicle manufacturer. Tesla's goal is to produce 20 million electric vehicles per year by 2030. For comparison, in 2022, the company produced 1,369,000 vehicles and delivered 1,313,000 vehicles. Toyota, the global sales leader, sold 10.5 million vehicles last year. This means that Tesla will need to increase its production and sales by approximately 15 times from 2022. Additionally, Tesla recently officially began deliveries of its electric pickup truck, the Cybertruck. The company announced that the starting price for the cheapest model of its long-awaited Cybertruck electric pickup will be $60,990. The Cybertruck is Tesla's first new electric vehicle since the release of the Model Y over three years ago. Tesla stated that it has received over 1 million pre-orders. Although Tesla planned to start deliveries in 2021, engineering and manufacturing issues related to the unconventional design delayed the process. Last month, Elon Musk warned that after the initial Cybertruck deliveries, there would be an extremely difficult increase in production, which is likely to take at least 18 months. I think it's our best product. I think it's the most unique thing on the road. And finally, the future will look like the future, Musk said. Elon Musk first unveiled the Cybertruck at a presentation in 2019. The Texas factory aims to produce 250,000 such vehicles per year, although the company does not expect to achieve this goal until at least 2025. Sales of electric vehicles account for approximately 85% of the company's revenue. However, this is not the only thing Tesla produces. For instance, solar panels and batteries contribute to 5.9% of the revenue. This direction is managed by Tesla Energy, a subsidiary of Tesla. Among its most well-known projects are solar roof tiles and the home energy storage system Powerwall. Another notable project of this subdivision is the construction of the world's largest lithium-ion battery in Australia, with a capacity of 100 megawatts. Write in the comments, what do you think about the prospects for Tesla's development? We hope you find something new and interesting in this video. If so, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. Goodbye.